before I tell you what is in the learning hub, you know, I just want to tell you that this is very passionate to me um, in the line of what I do training on the dashboard. This is going to be a game changer. What am I saying is going to be a game changer? It's going to even be something more than you experience in the webinars and also on your face-to-face -face training. Why am I saying all of this? It is something that is very direct. So you learn at your fingertips. You learn at your time right? It's very, very easy to understand. And there's no rush, right? Now, the good thing about this also, remember when we had the webinars last year and we're introducing DDD 2.0, we informed you that there's going to be updates on DDD 2.0, right? Now, how do you keep track of those updates? By continuously logging onto the Learning Hub. Now, getting yourself abreast with the updates. So please log on to know what has been added. So you will not be in shock when the next time you log on DDD 2.1, you find out that something that's formally here has been changed. So please continually log on to the Learning Hub to keep yourself informed with the update. Now, the last thing I'm, I, I would want to speak about is now for us exploring the Learning Hub. What is in the Learning Hub? How do we actually use the Learning Hub? By the left-hand side here, you could see some of this information here. One is the dashboard courses events, my learning, and media. I'm going to go through all of this just for you to understand what is in the Learning Hub. Now I am on the dashboard. So if you click here, this is what you see, right? Remember, if you go into your car and you start your car, right? You look at the dashboard. It gives you a summary of everything that is actually active or working in the car, right? You can monitor all those things. Now that is what we actually see in here. Now this is going to give you um, information on the learning hub, right? It's going to give you short videos. It's going to give you more information that you need at your fingertip, summarized. Now, the next one, which is very exciting to me, is the courses. Now, I'm going to click here. Why clicking the courses, you could see that we have different topics, right? The courses have lessons on it. Now, the first thing, if you are actually trying to get your or familiarize yourself with the dashboard, is navigation. You cannot use the dashboard without navigating, knowing how to go from one section to another. Now, most people would say, you know what, I don't even know how to navigate. Now, this is going to be a game changer because this does the job more than I, right? So you are going to now click on navigating. Irrespective of that, there are other lessons, right? So, but I'm saying navigation comes first because you need to understand how to navigate for you to be able to understand the data and for you to be able to now incorporate that into what you do. Now, under navigation and under the course it's actually course two on learning hub now you see different topics under navigation we have the dashboard navigation we have the overview page we have the detail page and we have the detail page which have the educator information and learner information now you need to click on each and every one of them depending on what you want to learn and now after doing this there's actually like a test just to test your knowledge the good thing is that you are not pressurized right you do this at your own time in the comfort of your room you can stop halfway because we know that most of our colleagues educational officials are actually busy right now when you come back to it it shows you your progress status now you can continue when you're free now the good thing about this and what i actually encourage each and every one of us is after completing a course please go back to that section on the dashboard and also check your understanding. Now imagine you'll be sitting with the data of your school, of your circuit or your district. Now you can be able to understand what that data means, right? Exciting, right? Good. Now let's go to the next one, right? The next one is events. Now we know that there's a whole lot of trainings um, for this year. Now, how do you keep yourself informed abreast of all of this Training by going to event. Now, all the events will be loaded. Now, you click here, you can click on training and webinar. Now, I know that a whole lot of people have been sending me message calling me to say, is the webinar, the, the triple D webinar um, canceled, right? The good news is that it's not canceled. We are coming back live to you from next week. And that is what we have here. Now, you can also register for your webinar here. So, you see, there's a whole lot of things and the learning hub. How to do this is you just click here, right? And you see more details on the webinar. You click here, you see the introductory webinar, 
what to prepare for. You need to book your seat, obviously. And then these are the dates. You choose the date that is convenient for you, right? And we're going to have lots of this information here. So you log in and you track this information and know which is suitable for you to join. Now, last but not the, sorry, the, the fourth one is my learning. Remember I told you that it tracks your progress, right? It tracks the progress when you actually, maybe you are actually learning um, navigation or maybe you are at the detail page. And I know that uh, most of the administrators, they're super busy, right? Um, they get called by the principals and all that. And you stop at some point, right? It tracks that. So whenever you come back, it tells you, you are here. So you need to continue from here. So that's why my learning tracks your course progress. Last but not the least is the media library. Now, what we have here currently is our very special data point. Take our time to, to hear the fantastic and awesome work that your fellow education officials are actually doing out there. And also we'll be putting those short how to do videos that you love so much and you always require, I mean, request from us. Now, in a nutshell, you see that there's a whole lot, right, to get out of the learning hub. And how do you keep yourself or how do you um, get yourself familiarized with all of this? Very easy, logging in and exploring.